Thousands of pro-government supporters took part in a rally led by President Maduro yesterday to commemorate the indigenous people of Venezuela. The day known in Venezuela as the Day of Indigenous Resistance was created in response to the scrapped Columbus Day that is no longer celebrated across Latin America. The opposition also held a rally at the same time demanding a recall referendum. Haitians are continuing to receive medical support as they recover from the devastation of Hurricane Matthew. International aid has been given from Cuba and Venezuela, among others. Police have clashed with protesting students at the Vaal University of Technology in South Johannesburg. The students had been protesting against rising tuition fees that have plagued the country for months before police fired tear gas, stun grenades and shot rubber bullets in an attempt to disperse the crowd. This week has seen the release of over 21 Chibok schoolgirls who were held captive by the Boko Haram group for two years. The Nigerian kidnap campaign group, who continues to fight for the release of almost 200 girls still being held by Boko Haram, have expressed their joy at the news.